Now, since I already fought these guys, I'm not fighting them again. Even though a good handful of them may follow me all the way. They usually don't come all the way down. But if they do, then we have bigger problems. Because not only do we have to dodge Havel, but we gotta get rid of these guys too. And it looks like they're following us. Bruh. You gonna dodge me twice? You showing off. I'm not even gonna bother healing, because you've seen what happened. Same plan. Backstab for like five minutes. It's gonna take a while, but what this man drops is worth the wait. We're gonna try this gold pine resin. I do 38 without the resin. With the resin, I die. Oh! I do 65. Okay, so resin works against this man. It'll speed up the process. And on dodging, it's just trial and error. You're most likely gonna get smashed by this man many times. It also helps to be light. This should be the last one. And Havel is defeated. The greatest enemy that you will face so far. Havel's ring. Now this is God's gift. What this does is it boosts your maximum equipped load. So as you see over here, bonk, right there, without it, I can hold a whopping 52 whatever increment of weight that is. But with the ring, I can now hold 78. And what that does is basically allow me to put on and hold way more things and still be able to do my fast roll. Whereas if it's off, I'm moving pretty slow. All right, now this place, I do not recommend you. Well, actually, yeah, let's go over here. Do not go to the right at all. There's this thing called a hydra. You see that thing in the distance, dancing behind the, the trees and these ice golems or crystal golems. You don't want no problems. Just trust me here. Trust me. You don't want no problems. He's gonna follow me all the way, isn't he? Yo, he's following me. Disregard him. Since I wasted all of my gold pine resin, this fight may be a little difficult because we have another knight to fight. And this time, he has a weapon that is way stronger and way longer. So what I'm gonna do, something I don't usually do, I'm gonna bring my shield out. Not like it's gonna help. I'm gonna aggro him, or I might be able to sneak up behind him. Oh, ain't no sneaking behind this man. Aggro and then run like hell. Just like with that one knight, get to a nice area, nice and spacious, hopefully he follows, he does. And good luck. There we go. As long as you get the backstabs, you're fine. You might be able to put him in the stab loop. See, do I want to push him off? And look at this. There's no kick in this man. I might be able to kick him off. Oh, what? Just get off the ledge, please. Good job. Okay. And that's him. If you're lucky like me, he'll drop a black knight shield and a titanite shard. See, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get the shard because it drops on his body, but it gave it to us anyway. Once you defeat him, you don't have to worry about him no more. There's a bonfire in this cave. I don't recommend you get it yet. Now, this shield is what I use throughout the whole entire game, unless I'm trying to do something specific. This shield, what it does is it increases stamina recovery. So that little green bar at the top left, watch this. I'm going to run it down instantly right now without it's a lot slower so i recommend you keep this shield on you at all times now we run all the way back to this area because we will be on our way to fighting our first boss oh our second boss go ahead run all the way back up here oh this man might aggro get this man's attention stab at him now one of these levels there will be i forgot what they're called Pretty sure it's right here. This thing right here. Instantly attack. You only have like five seconds, then they'll just disappear. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these people. They'll make this fight a lot more difficult than what it already is. All right, this man, he's pretty easy. Run up here, you're gonna see him pop up. Run like hell to this ladder, and he'll be doing the same. As long as you're up here, you should be fine. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a heavy lunge attack, right? That's Look a lot of damage. Stay up there too long. He will jump up there and get you, so don't think you're safe. Basically, distract this man, stay in between his legs. Or if you're real risky, you can try and run back up that ladder. Ooh, get up, 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 get up. Oh, he caught me with the last little bit of his swing. But yeah, as you can see, easy fight. If you didn't use that gold pine resin, this would be a perfect time to use it. If you're under him like this, you're most likely going to get stepped on. And that's it. And that is the Taurus Demon.
You beat him, he's gone. Nice little bit of souls. Here you will come across your best friend, Mr. Solaire. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> what look? <laughs> Basically, just say yes to everything. This man just sits and stares at the sun. The sun is his god, his best friend. Now this is up close and personal. I've never seen his face before. No teeth. Sheesh. You don't got nothing on that helmet. Alright, here you'll come across your first dragon. Um, you may get burned. You will. Now what we do here is, we completely forget about the dragon. We're not going that way. We knock down this ladder, and it'll take you right back to where you started. Go ahead and take a rest. Reverse your hollowing. Turn you back into a human. And then level up. I'm not gonna level up yet, because I forget <clears throat> the strength requirements for what we're about to have. All right, now there are people on this ladder right here. Go ahead and lure him out. Hopefully Sir Dragon doesn't move. Come on. Um, actually, check this out. Bad souls, just run out. Ooh, run back. They all get burnt up. You get about 500 souls each run through. But that's not what we're here for. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna scratch our butt a little bit, because it's been a while. You know, we haven't showered in God knows how long. And we're gonna aim here at this dragon. We're gonna shoot your first arrow, and then find out the trajectory, right? It hits him. So if you're paying attention, then you'd know when to shoot. So basically, when the tail kicks out like that, you take your shot, it comes back, it is. And then we'll be doing this cycle for the next five minutes, but I promise you, it is worth it. And there it is, the Drake Sword. You don't need this no more. Look how much damage I do. Look at the damage, 200 damage. How heavy is it? How strong you need to be? Only 16 strength and 10 dexterity. Look at the durability. Way higher than anything else. You OP. You OP, you're good. You don't need nothing else. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go up here. We already did it. I'm gonna let them burn them up. Get my last little bit of souls. And level up. Let me um showcase this weapon, right? He takes wood. As you can see, the man's tail is gone. So you can't hit a bonfire and then you have an infinite source of Drake swords. Your heavy attack, this is your light attack. I'm not gonna do the heavy attack because uh, it wears down your durability like crazy. But as you can see, one shot. Oh, watch out for these guys. They'll poison you. Oh! See, they're not too intelligent. But see, we rested here. We got the ladder, so we don't gotta run all the way back. If you get poisoned by them, you can run to a bonfire. Whichever is closest and sit. Alright, that's another strong guy up there. Before we go up there. Oh. Alright, check this out. I don't like what I just did. So what I'm gonna do is... We're going back. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna let him burn the ground. We should be safe. Oh! We cool though. Run in this corner. You're not getting hit. Now what we're doing is, we're waiting for this man to get so impatient. And once he gets that impatient, he will come down and greet us personally. But as soon as that happens, you have to run. Run like hell. Don't even worry about none of this stuff on the ground. Don't even try to fight him. Don't do none of that. And do not sit at the bonfire. Turn around. And run into this little cave. Oh. Well, hurry up and run. Hurry up and sit, right? You might get burnt up, but at least you sat down. I lied. Never mind. And once you come in this little cave and sit, he will be on his way. With his tail, off into the sunset. You may never see this man again. And to handle these guys. Go ahead and lift this gate. That's why I came back. Because if you sit at this bonfire, you happen to die or something. You happen to unalive. And then you're going to have to run all the way back. Under, up. That's just a whole lot of work. Now we're going to run up here, but be careful. Because there's a knight up here. And this one hurts. He hurts. That was not on purpose. Backstabs are the way to go. If you can get behind him. There we go. See, with this sword. Two. What the? No one, no one told you to come up here. Mostly everything that you can block. You can block everything with the shield. It's just, it will hurt. And he's done. Ooh, I thought he was. Except for that. That is the one thing that you cannot block from him. And good thing we stopped. We opened that gate and we set at that bonfire. Because if not, we would have had to run back and do all that shit back again. This is not cool. 
Friendly fire should be it. You're being hit. You're being toast. You're toast, kid. You're not giving me problems no more. For the third time. Oh, I just died. How many times? Two. I'll make it six. Go and retrieve our stuff. Why is he giving me so many problems? I'm gonna heal up. And then I'm gonna run. And then I'm gonna slice. So we didn't get lucky that time. Sometimes he drops his sword, which is, as you can imagine, dumbass strong. But it's cool. This place could be annoying because of them people with the, with the crossbows. Ooh. But as long as you got a shield. See, we would wait for him to come up with us. We got these alluring skulls, right? What they do is, hopefully I do this right. They will lure him into the flames. So you don't even got to fight him. And if he stays there long enough, You'll be able to defeat him. Sometimes he drops his helmet. Am I sick about it? Yeah. Because I really like that helmet. Just the way it looks. Slice this man because he's trying to set you up. Run back. Oh, you just run out like a madman. No, as weak as these guys look, if it's a whole bunch of them, they will cause you problems. Mystery key. Since we have our master key, I'm pretty sure we don't need it. But we'll see anyway. Hey, what the? Now this? Now this is different. I've never witnessed anything like this. How is this even possible? How did you... And you got the sword in your hand. How did you manage this? Now you're stuck here for eternity. If I can... Oh, there you go. I got you. Oh, later. Like I said, every time I play this game, something new always happens. Now this guy. The same with that Black Knight. In the beginning, you can want to sneak up behind him. And then really give it to him. He was just blocking the shield. All right, now here, you're gonna wanna hurry up and spam attack this right side. Cause this man is hot on your ass. Oh. Unless you get a lucky backstab. All right, what we do here is we get rid of this man. No problem. Oh, he's coming. Goodbye. This will lift this gate up, so if you happen to unalive, you can just run your way right back. Instead of having to go all the way around, go up, down, you know. Makes traveling a lot faster. Now before you go in here, and most likely die, I want you to come down here. Run all the way down here. Come down here. Light this bonfire. Reverse hollowing if you want. Here, you will find the greatest blacksmith in the universe. My man's Andre. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If you require smithing, then speak to me. The nice thing about weapons, they never betray you. So pay them a little respect, eh? Spitting bars, nothing but facts from Andre. Nothing but facts. He ain't never lie. This man holds the crest of Artorias. This is what we'll be working towards. 20,000 souls. We're gonna lead this man. We're not going down here. We're gonna go back up. Now... This will be a big dude. This will be a big dude. But he's protecting something worth defeating. What is this? Touch the sign of the Grave Lord's servant. I do not know what this is. Before we go anywhere, we're going to want to send this elevator down. Where does it lead to, you may ask? You'll find out very shortly. Oh, here we are. Firelink Shrine. You can talk to this hater. But to be honest, you don't need him around. Unless, you know, it's your first time playing and he basically just tells you where to go. He gives you hints, tips, stuff like that. But since me... How's your rat? You have some I don't really like the way this guy speaks to me. Fallen, but I'm not defenseless, you rascal. You will soon regret this. Hmm. Backstab. He's got a lot of help. And, uh... Now that's just embarrassing. How'd you let me do that to you? Okay, uh, um, so he parried me. 